Hello, Trader Scary Wagner here. Just about 1 o'clock in Honolulu, 7 o'clock in New York on Thursday, 9th day of September 2021. And this is uh, the Daily Report for Gold and Silver. We had gold close at $1,800 in New York today, but then backed off a bit. On today's show, I want to talk about critical support and resistance levels for both gold and silver, and we'll do that now. In New York trading today, gold closed at $1,800 per ounce. That was a net gain of about four-tenths of a percent, but it is since backed off. It is currently fixed at $17.9630, up $2.80. It was some of the statements that came out of the policy meeting from the European Central Bank that caused it to back off, and in particular, the talk that they may stop stimulus at some point next year. But currently, we do have gold very close to 1800 after trading to a high today of 1803.40 and a low of 1785.10. Considering that dollar weakness today was down 0.17% and the gain in gold was plus 0.16%, it was virtually a wash. Traders, gold is unquestionably having trouble staying above $1,800. There is vast uncertainty as to what the Federal Reserve will do when it convenes during the next FOMC meeting set to begin on the 21st of this month. The fact that we had a very disappointing jobs report for August should temper their speech or tone in terms of when they will begin to taper, but many expect an announcement as to when they'll begin to taper now in December. It was the ECB being a little bit more hawkish today that kind of took the edge off of the gains that we saw when it traded to $1,800 in New York. Right now, we are still under the 50-day moving average, and that, along with $1,799, which is the 23.6% Fibonacci retracement, which, of course, is right next to $1,800, a key psychological level that I believe gold needs to begin to trade and hold above on a closing basis if we can expect the rally, which really began after the flash crash, here is going to continue. Right now, I see strong support at $1,776. That is the 38.2% Fibonacci retracement. I also see some support at the series of lows. And what you can see is that yesterday's low basically matched the low that came in on the 25th of last month. For right now, traders, my recommendation is to maintain your current long position and to maintain your current stop. As far as silver goes, it had fractional gains today, a little over a tenth of a percent, $24.08, and a half cents, up three cents on the day. Modest gains in silver today, like gold, broke the two-day decline that occurred on both Tuesday and Wednesday. It is currently trading just below the close in New York at 2408. And in terms of critical support, I still put it at approximately 2373. That is the 78% Fibonacci retracement. And I have current resistance pegged at 2475. Traders maintain your current long silver position and your current stop. This has been Gary Wagner wishing you as always good trading. We will talk to you tomorrow for the daily report and our weekend review. Have a great day. Bye-bye.